spirit of change. Now, why did I ask that question? And how does that question make you feel inside? You get defensive, of course. And nobody likes a bum walking up to them on the street and asking them, spirit of change. Nobody does. So, when you're in a public setting, especially in a gym, do you think it's appropriate to walk up to strangers and ask them, how many sets you got left? 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 Thousands of times. Every day, every session. It gets to you. It gets to everybody. Nobody likes that question. So why do you ask that question? That's the topic of today's video. Now, when I was in an MMA gym for the first time, I saw killers, killers, like real, real killers, just hitting bags, hitting mitts, doing their thing at their own station. So the gym was packed and it was a open gym. So like you drop in, you show up anytime and you just do your work. And everyone was just zoned in, like doing their thing, right? Killers, real killers. So my first question to my coach was, how do I uh, work in with these guys? Or what do I say to them? And then my coach, he didn't really speak English. He just says, you just do it. And what he was trying to say is you just go with the flow. And uh, in that situation, in that MMA gym, it, it, it's all non-verbal. When you see something available, you take it. So you can tell when someone's done with a heavy bag because they're taking their gloves off or they're grabbing their gear or they're wiping down the bag and they're moving on to the next station or their next exercise. And when someone's doing that, that's your cue to step in. Or you can see other people that are ready to step in because they see that, that signal, these non-verbal signals. So the same thing goes with the gym. When you see someone, or when I see someone putting the weights away or wiping down the equipment, which is what you should be doing, I, that's protocol these days, I know for a fact that that person's done. So that's my cue to just step in. I don't need to say anything to that person. I just smile or I just do a thumbs up or I just do like this. That's it. I don't have to say anything because I don't want to intrude on another person's workout. I don't need to interrupt them or annoy them with silly, mundane, repetitive questions. Like how many minutes ago? No, that's just too intrusive. So some of you are offended by what my answer is, but let me give you another perspective. Say you're in a crowded restaurant, you're enjoying your meal and a stranger walks up to your table and says, Hey bro, how many more bites you got left? Or you're in a cafe, you're enjoying your coffee. A stranger walks up to your table and says, Hey, how many more sips you got left? Or you're in a public bathroom, you're pooping, and someone knocks on your door, your bathroom door, and says, Hey, how many more poops you got left? How does it make you feel? Same thing. Spare to change, spare to change, spare. That's a weak, weak approach to asking or trying to get what you want. So what I do is I wait and I observe and I look for the signals. So if that person looks like he's just started, I can tell because they're getting ready. You can tell when someone's getting ready and you, you can tell when someone's done. So just pay attention to these signals and be patient. Sometimes you're not gonna get what you want. You're not always gonna get access to the squat rack for one hour so that you can perform your perfect four sets of blah, 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 12 reps at this weight every time. And if you, try, if you walk into a gym with that kind of attitude, with that kind of concrete plan, you're gonna get disappointed every time. 
It's just like driving. You have to work around your situation, around your situation, work with what you're given. You have to adapt, you have to flow like water. So, uh, in the past, when I was uh, in a good mood or someone was polite to me, or because a lot of people, they're not polite. They just say, hey bro, or hey, we're just together. They're just very intrusive, very rude. Some people would actually say to me, excuse me, how many more sets do you have more? Or yesterday, I remember this guy said, excuse me, sir, how many more sets do you have left? He said, sir, I like that. So with a polite question like that, I gave him a polite response. I just said, just one more or like, it's all yours and smiled. And I always smile, no matter how rude the question is. And sometimes when I'm in a foul mood or when I'm in my actual workout, I'm, I'm actually like working out, like doing the exercise and some one approaches me and says, hey bro, how much sets you got left? In the middle of my exercise, I just look at them and I just say, I just do this. This does not mean two. To you, it means two more sets left. But to me, this means chill out. I'm doing something. Leave me alone. Okay, that's all I have to do. This, I don't have to say anything. It's all nonverbal. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you in this video is to respect people's private space, personal space. Let people breathe and let them do their thing and don't intrude on another person's workout okay in in a rude manner and the best way to do that is to look for the signals just like when driving we don't yell at each other on the road with our windows down saying hey are you turning left hey are you turning right no we we just turn on our signals to let others know what we're planning to do and the same thing goes with the gym. You wipe down your equipment, that means you're done with that, with that area. You're putting your weights away, that means, yeah, you're done. You're, you're, you're wrapping up, I can tell. So, yeah, just be kind to everyone, all right? Be nice, right? everyone's trying to work out, all right? Nobody needs a, a bum in the gym saying, spirit uh, change, spirit change. Okay, so that's my, that's my answer for today's video, okay? Don't ever ask that, that question. How many sets you got left? Please, please don't ask it to me, please. All right, just, just do this. Okay. That's all you need. So if you want online personal training, click the link down below. We can get started and uh, leave a question or comment or how you feel about this question that I raised today. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? Take care. Train hard, be water on my forehand. Bye.